I might just have the keys to your new home. All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to discover this home together. Just a little while ago, I was told that the original buyers for this home have canceled their contract, and now it is up for grabs, although nobody else knows about it except us right now. So we're going to have a sneak peek. So come with me. Let's discover this home together. with Heart and Home Orlando and today you're going to have a really quick day in the life of what it's like to be me. All right, so earlier today we were doing a beautiful uh, model home tour and as often happens um, during that uh, filming process I get some inside scoop that this home right here which we're going to discover together just came back on the market. This was a home somebody else was building it for whatever reason it's falling through right here at the final stages. So discover this home with me. I know very little about it other than the address that it's the Hillis floor plan and we're here at the lookout at John's Lake Landing by David Weekly Homes and that's about it. I know it's five bedrooms and it's uh, 3,000 square feet ish. Other than that we're going to discover it together. Now this home is not 100% completed. That I do know as well because I want to put that disclaimer out there. Don't tell us that you see marks on the wall or okay that the floors are dirty because it's not done yet. They're still working on this and they're going to finish it. But by the way, oh my gosh, the floors. So let's discover this together. So the first thing I notice when we come in is other than the fact that the stairs aren't completed yet is that it is a beautiful natural wood plank floor. I love this. It looks real wood. It looks like it's real wood. I'm not saying it is. Looks like it's real wood and I love the actual stain of it. It's really beautiful. It's dark. It's rich. It anchors it. Feels very, very rustic. Love the stain that they've done here on the staircase. Obviously, okay, up there I can see that it's wooden spindles. Again, they are finishing this home up. So we're looking at it for what we can see, not what's not done. All right, so over here, come over here. So take a peek. So it looks like we have a bedroom right here at the front of the home. Very nice. So we have a nice big bedroom right here as soon as we came in the front door off to the left. And remember, what we're talking about is this specific home because this home inside scoop is available. So you're going to give me a call at 407-848-8042. But the other thing is that this is also part of the Hillis floor plan. So you can see the actual layout if you decide you want to build one of these. But this one is going to be available and clearly almost done. All right. So let's take a look at this bathroom. Beautiful. Love the hexagon um, type of the tile that they have here on the floor. Uh, kind of like the little beehive design. Love this. This is very nice. So the cabinets are a very, very light gray beautiful uh looks like it is a quartz countertop nice fixtures by the way i love the uh the chrome up there you have a tub shower combo with square tile all the way to the ceiling really nice again creams and whites very very good complement to this dark rich brown oh okay all right so over here oh my gosh i love it so this is clearly oh has a closet. Okay, I kind of like this. All right, so this is definitely an office space or utilizing it however you want. So these are French doors. So if you're wondering, this is what it looks like because they've painted everything. This is going to come off. There's like a little piece of plastic there. They're going to pull this off. This is actually clear glass. Remember the home is not done yet. So you're going to have the French doors with the glass panes, but look at this. This is what took my attention right away is the true function of having a closet in your office space. That's spectacular. Love that. By the way, have we noticed that beautiful flooring has extended right on into that office? So it's extended into that front bedroom. It's extended here into this office space. Okay. So now we are into the main hub of the holy mother of kitchens. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me come over here because I need to spend some time over here. All right, so over here, what I see, first of all, I see the larger baseboards, big, beautiful, dynamic baseboards here in the home, which is really nice. It's a beautiful upgrade. I see four recessed lights. I feel like like the children show, I see, but I do. I see four recessed lights. I see the, the uh, center lighting fan, uh, fan light fixture. I see the flooring. Big, beautiful sliders that look like these open from the middle and will we'll kind of cascade out this way with a nice covered lanai. Two ceiling fans out on the lanai. It looks like you back up to the privacy wall. Nice size backyard. Okay, let mama come over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so where to begin? It's everywhere and everything. Okay, all right, so the first thing I want to notice, let's talk about the island. I see that they have done an upgraded finish that wraps all the way around. So instead of having exposed um, 
just like drywall there with paint or even just a faux facade. Uh, that's what they've done here is they've given you, like they've trimmed this out. So it really is that finishing touch, a really nice thing. And by the way, that's an expensive sucker at the design center because I know because I've been there. So nice big island. Oh, wow. Look at this. Eric, can you see? Look at the drawer pulls on this. Very sleek and cool. So you notice that there's no screw holes right here. Wow, I actually have not seen that and that's beautiful. Okay, so countertop, you have a beautiful quartz. I have not seen this quartz before. By the way, that's one of the things that I love is truly discovering these things because oftentimes we see the same fit and finish and fixtures kind of dispersed throughout. And to my understanding, this is actually a home that the, um, that, the original buyers did design themselves at the design center. So they chose these things. So this is kind of gives you a real life, real person idea of what they might put in their home. So I love this, <coughs> excuse me, love this nice big um, farmhouse sink, love the faucet, beautiful, really do love these. Okay, so you have a cooktop, you've got the cabinets up above, you've got the gourmet kitchen option, look at all of this, cabinet and counter space, big open corner, love this area, backsplash, you just have a very straight lay of the long skinny rectangular white tile. Again, uh, the, the stacked oven with the microwave, and then of course the refrigerator. Again, this is the paper that is on that's protecting the stainless steel. So, but this, oh my goodness! <coughs> All right, this is this is something right here. So this is clearly an option to have extended and added this entire bank of cabinets, both lower and upper. This is fantastic because this is a huge area right here. Again, looking at the lighting fixtures and the pendant lights. Oh my gosh. So all of this is, by the way, a huge area for your actual semi-formal day-to-day dining. So a lot of space right here, no matter what size or shape of your table. But this is what is spectacular. You know, in the, the old um, formal dining rooms, like at my grandmom's house, you know, you, we had the dining room table, we had the buffet, and we had the hutch, right? And we don't have those formal dining rooms necessarily as much anymore, but we still need that storage and that aesthetic. And that's what this gives you. This gives you, I mean, I'm already imagining right now, like we, you know, Thanksgiving, we just had Thanksgiving. Can you imagine your entire setup just displayed right here is this beautiful walk along buffet. I'm a little bit jealous. This is fantastic. So A plus on this first floor. I love it. So really nice. All right, let's take, oh wait, let's go back here. All right. So kitchen, um, this is pantry. Oh, nice big pantry. So the pantry tucks back down and around or not down and around, but back down. This is going to be your um, entrance to the garage. So you do have a two car garage that I can tell you is just a standard two car garage, by the way just as a point of reference. Most two car garages are about 20 by 20. Sometimes they have like this one has that little niche kind of cut out over there where you could probably recess some storage. Over here looks like this is your entryway from your garage door. This is a great opportunity for you to add some custom hook um, cubbies or hooks or things that you might need there. And then of course there's a closet as well. First floor, like seriously, this is an A plus. I love this. Okay. So we're going to go upstairs and remember the home is not complete. We want to make sure that we continue to state that. We're also going to be careful because we um, there's no carpet or anything up here. So we want to be extra careful and cautious. So upstairs, okay, well we can see the carpet is getting ready to be laid down. So we get to take our first glimpse. Oh my gosh, like this is hard because my eye is going everywhere. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so. I digress. Calm down. Okay. So beautiful carpet, by the way, I love this carpet. It's kind of like a tan gray, which is really nice because I'm going to point out this laundry room because it's the first thing that took my focus when we came up here. Love this laundry room. First of all, what a fun tile on the floor, really giving it some energy and perspective. Love this. Candidly wish I had done a different tile in my laundry room. And this is probably something I would have been, you know, drawn to cabinets up above. Uh, over here, they've got the utility sink, the laundry sink. They've got a folding counter, <coughs> cabinets underneath, cabinets up above. Looks like it has the washer dryer. You have your on cue box for all of your cable and security components as well as your system up there. And then this is going to be your loft area. 
Yep, your loft game room area. Again, I can see four recessed lights up here. They've already got the fan light fixture. This is a great room. Again, we've seen these loft, these bonus rooms, so you know what you can do with it. You can make it a game room or an adult kind of a hangout zone, a secondary living room type thing. But while we're here, let's take a quick peek at quick peek at the backyard, so you can kind of see what you back up to. Now that is another community. That community is actually guard gated, so that is not a, a road or a community where you're going to have a lot of traffic going back and. Forth, only those people who live there again, because that is guard gated. So that's very nice. You have a nice separation between uh, this home site. You have the wall, then you have a sidewalk, and then you've got even some more um, kind of shrubs and things that border it. Quite lovely. By the way, we are out here in Claremont. All right, let's take a peek back over here. Well, this is a huge room. Is it the master? It looks like it's the master. Okay, so big room. So this uh, owner suite is, locked, is tucked back here in the corner. Really big tray ceiling, by the way, and that's like a really deep tray. That it looks like it's a foot deep, as opposed to maybe a maybe a six to eight inch tray. This is a really deep tray, very very um, kind of it draws your eye up immediately when you come in here. Big beautiful window. So this is what I call a picture window. When I grew up, this is exactly what we had in our living room. This one big panel right there with the two on the side. Lots of that natural Florida sunshine just coming in. And by the way, that is a beautiful view. Those palms just kind of up and out there. Really beautiful. All right, let's take a peek here at the owner's bathroom. You have a tub shower combo. I love the tile again. It kind of mimics what we saw down on the first floor. You have the semi-frameless shower. You've got tile that um, has those tiles going again all the way up to the ceiling. You've got your garden tub over here. Oh, and I like this too because you've got darker. Ca oh, this is pretty. So you have a darker cabinet and counter. They've added the drawers in the middle, which is nice. But I love this quartz is beautiful because this brown, the kind of veining in it, is really, really pretty and really complements it well. So kudos to the buyers there or the original ones anyway. Uh, toilet room over here and then a nice big closet that's back behind us and the other thing to note here too um, is that these are taller doors so a lot of times when we have these tall ceilings a structural option that you can add is whether or not you want the eight foot doors on the first floor or on the second floor which is the whole house and in this case they did the taller doors upstairs as well again really continues to draw your eye up really nice touch love the frames as well okay so back over here Bedroom. All right. So we saw the um, <clears throat> we saw the the owner suite over there. We saw a guest room there on the first floor. We see another bedroom up here. A nice big closet. That is a two door open in reach in closet, but it's still nice and deep. Gives you lots of space. And around here we have another bedroom. It looks like. By the way, these bedrooms are very nice in size. This one is lovely too because you have again these big windows. So one of the things that I want to point out here in this section, this is a 72 home site section in, called the Lookout at Johns Lake Landing. Uh, David Weekly, it is their final phase here in this community. And even though it's 72 home sites <clears throat> for this particular section, it is nestled in and connected to the other section, the main section of Johns Lake Landing. But they actually, this whole section has a different aesthetic, a different feel, and some different floor plans, which is why we're exploring this. Hill is together. All right, I can see that they really have a thing for this tile, and I love this one just as much as the others. Now, this one is probably a little bit more my color scheme because that is a gray that has a blue underneath of it, and you can see here that the quartz that they chose is very similar to the one that we saw in the uh, owner suite, but instead of having the brown veining, this has a blue veining, which really you could you could really make it gray if you need it, but it's blue, oh, so pretty. Um, so this has the uh, like a not even a wall it's not it's open and connected you have a tall shower with the niche and the tile that goes all the way up and the toilet as well we didn't go this way right did we do this one we didn't do this one okay so we have another bedroom so this is what bedroom number three upstairs four upstairs four because we saw the owner suite upstairs and then this is the third of the upstairs bedrooms all right same thing very nice sized bedrooms by the way all these bedrooms are very generous in size none of them are tiny so bedroom bathroom bedroom bedroom so all three of these bedrooms will share that bathroom and then this is the owner suite this is the loft that's the laundry room and that's the stairs where we just came up okay i'm not lost anymore did you follow with me all right guys so this is Truly what it's like sometimes when I'm out with clients or if I'm out working myself. You know, earlier today, like I said, we were out uh, filming one of the model homes. And during that filming process, um, you know, I, I got message from my David Weekly contact that, hey, they just found out 
that this home that we're standing in now is going to come on the market. So that's what happens sometimes. And that's why we're going to share that information with you. So remember, I do not work for or represent the builder, but I'm going to help you make this house your home. And you can have this probably for hmm, very early in 2023. I'm guessing maybe even by the end of December, it's quite possible because this home is very close to being done. All right, guys, please give me a call at 407-848-8042. Remember, I do not work for or represent the builder. I'm hoping to help guide you through this process. And remember, as always, please stay safe, stay well. Remember, we love you and happy house hunting.